Uh, there's a particular sound uh, recording that's strangely been uh, named Julia. And uh, for those listening, it was a mysterious sound recorded in the eastern equatorial Pacific using an autonomous hydrophone array. Uh, it was heard for many thousands of miles, uh, and it was initially dismissed as an iceberg. Uh, but then a classified image from a NASA satellite was later released, which showed an enormous um, shadow in the waters of Cape Adair at the time. Uh, if the shadow is indeed a living animal, it is indeed a sea monster of enormous proportions. Uh, what are your thoughts on this and other strange sounds recorded in the deep sea? I mean, could could any of these sounds be massive sea monsters? It certainly would be really cool if they were. It'd be nice if they were. Um, sadly, I don't think I don't think any of them are. Um, for a bunch of reasons. So, so Julie is just one. Another really famous one is called the Bloop. There's another one called Slow Down. Um, and they've, they initially, initially, you know, when they're when they're released, there's a bit of hype, and people say the same thing. They say it sounds like an animal. But if it's an animal, well, the fact that the the distance is covered by the the, the distance that the sound is covered means that you can work out like how loud it was and the initial volume of the sound means that if it's an animal you have to imagine it as something that's like 10 times louder than like a blue whale which is currently the the loudest animal on the planet so you'd have to be talking about yeah like a godzilla creature something like way beyond anything that that, that we know um the animal explanation is generally not favored by the acoustic experts that look at these things and um they say that you know, there are better explanations. The bloop sounded for a long time like a bubble escaping from an undersea canyon, something which, which is a recorded phenomenon. And uh, now there's good reason for thinking that these are, um, they're either like the sound of giant icebergs grounding in shallow water, this kind of weird low grating sound, um, or they are what are called ice quakes, which is where you've got like rumbling noises associated with um, frozen uh, seafloor or, or ice shelves, you know, breaking apart and making crazy sounds. Um, remember that, um, it's called Julia, by the way, because it sounds like Ju Ju Julia. <laughs> oh, I never knew that. Go, 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 like this, yeah. But that sound, and this is the same for the others as well, they're all sped up. They're, that, that sound is like sped up like, I think it's like 10 to 20 times compared to what the actual, the actual noise is like. They speed it up just because if you heard it at its original sound, you wouldn't be able to make any sense of it. It'd just be like a low rumbling thing. Um, so I don't think that there's a good reason to think they are animals. If they're animals, they're unprecedented animals. They're you know, they're like things that must be like hundreds of tons and gargantuan in size. And there are these better explanations that they do match with ice quakes or uh, ice spokes or whatever. The link, so obviously it goes goes viral on the internet and, you know, people love the idea of these being animals. What a, what a fantastic idea. I wish it were true. But um, they then link them with other things. And I haven't looked into this in depth, but from what I remember, because this is a couple of years, even, this one's a couple of years old, the bloop goes back couple of decades and julia goes back to when did you say is it late 1990s um let me take a look at my notes here uh actually i don't have that written down i've got a feeling it's 1999 and it was, it was recorded once but I, but I could be wrong that was my recollection the link between the whatever the acoustic trace is and the thing with the shadow no connection whatsoever it's just someone either again i, I haven't looked into this but my from what I recall, the um, the shadow picture was either something mocked up, or it was something that uh, wasn't an animal. But it's it doesn't have any connection whatsoever to the um, yeah to the actual sound. Um, uh, I, I, sh I, I didn't I didn't look into this. Sorry, but um, I'm pretty sure that's that's right. There's no direct uh, connection, and it's connected. Someone does it kind of for fun to start with, and then of course uh, people take it take it from there. So. Um, Maybe we should go away and do some, uh, you know, do some googling on that. But uh, that's, <laughs> that's, I'm going to put. I'm, I think that I'm pretty sure that's right. I'm going to put my money on that. But um, yeah, sadly, I don't think these are these are animals. That sounds made by animals, and uh, yeah, no reason to link them with. Cloverfield is one of my favorite movies. Uh, I want I want a clover, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs>